this and how do we how do we do this faster mm -hmm. so most people probably would turn to education as another form of hacking how do we get past a certain time frame of putting energy into something is formal education totally necessary when it comes to writing can't someone still be a brilliant screenwriter without having to be part of an MFA program or even get a bachelor's in writing the answer is simple and the answer is absolutely yes of course they can they can but mm, that for most of us is choosing a very difficult and lonely road and uh, here is why see this uh, any art form before anything can be art and appreciated as something that has reached to the level of art it is a craft first art is created by craftspeople who have some inspiration at one moment in their lives or 50 moments in their lives when the craft that they do so well rises to the level of art but you cannot cut to art without swimming through craft without creating an understanding the craft of anything uh, Georgiana O'Keeffe, I don't know why, you know, she came to mind, yeah. but then, and Pablo Picasso, okay? Graphic artists who take it to the level of, of true and pure art. Both of them, in their early years, learned their craft. They learned perception. They learned color. Their, their you know, composition. There are things you have to learn, tools, that these artists have. And when they are mastered, then they can take it into some very interesting place and unexpected places. But you've still got the tools. Chess. Chess is a rather interesting game, and there are untold millions of possibilities, maybe infinite possibilities. There are six pieces in a, in, in a chess game. But how to use those six pieces and multiple combinations and so on create probably the most fascinating intricate and mind-twisting game ever invented. Uh, uh, there are tools in screenwriting. And I would take the position that if this is what somebody really wants, if this is what they're going for, if, this, if the, all their gifts lead them in this direction, then they need to get educated about the tools. You can do that on your own. But it, you know, but you'll need to read a lot of books, and sometimes, I mean, there's a lot of great books on screenwriting out of there. You know, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of great books, and there are tons and tons of garbage books on screenwriting too. And if you haven't got, you know, some guidance, you may be wasting a lot of time on some of those books. But if you come to an MFA program, you are pursuing a couple of things, really. You know, what you, what do you get for your money? and all that kind of stuff. Well, first of all, you're going towards a terminal degree, a graduate terminal degree that qualifies you to teach tenure track as a professor at the college or, uh, and or uh, university level. And that's a major certificate. That's a major thing to have. Uh, uh, like me, I had two of them stashed away in the closet somewhere. When the opportunity came up decades later, okay, I'm qualified, I'm prepared, you know, let's go. So that as a writer, it gives you another door to open, another avenue to pursue in life. You are less hindered. Remember I said you gotta have two, two pathways to be pursued at the same time? Your craft and art, yes, but at the same time, how to regularize an income? Well, you're, you're a big step toward the second path when you have an MFA just the practicality of the degree. But on the other set, set of uh, uh, accomplishments, it's about the tools, the tools you will learn who, that never, you never knew existed. So many people who don't get a formal education in it or read, they still talk of screenwriting as something that falls from the sky. I don't want that stuff, you know. I don't do plot, you know. I, I, I just read this someplace and it just made me shake my head. Somebody's, 